welcome back to my channel and if you're walking into this little space for the first time I'm Priyanka and I make videos about everything now a couple of months back I made a video where I asked you to send me your resumes for the off-campus drive for Infosys so I was going to refer you guys the reason I did this video was because I know a lot of you don't get their opportunity or that chance to do it and some of you when they get it they at times lose it because of some personal reasons or emergencies so I thought maybe this is a good time to start I know a lot of my friends did not get that chance and they really wanted to be in Infosys or some other company and due to some reasons they could not make it on that day so they had to leave that opportunity as it is this time when I heard about the off-campus drive in 2018 I thought this was a good opportunity to use the platform I have so I could collect all the resumes I could apply for all the candidates on my behalf and I got around 3,000 candidates for this and I have tried to apply for as many of them as I could and some of you guys got the job you have mailed me about it you have commented in my videos about it and I'm so thankful to God that I have got this opportunity to give you guys this opportunity so this has been for me this has been one of the biggest achievements of my life because of me in the most indirect and irrelevant way or random way possible some of you have got a job some of you are finally on your own feet now you are able to do what you want so i'm really happy about that but during this process i had a few complaints from you guys and i want you to listen to it with a very positive nature or i'll say a positive flow of it i don't want you to take me on the wrong side but this was annoying on a lot of personal levels for the you know six months of my time since the day I uploaded the video until today now the first problem I got from you guys was that you have written SMS language in your emails do understand the fact that when you are sending a professional email especially which has your resume attached you cannot write B for you and you can you know be for and you are writing it like that you cannot write it in that sms language it is highly highly unprofessional you guys so next time when you're sending an email even when you're sending it to a friend just keep that in mind that you cannot write something that is so bizarre and so gra grammatically incorrect the second thing you have to take care is of your spellings and of your grammar if you think you're not that good at writing emails just write the crisp you know be very crisp and clean about it i asked you guys around four to five details what is your name what is your date of birth which college you go to and which month you have passed out and i guess i just asked you this detail this is all you had to write in that email and surprisingly only like 200 300 people that is one tenth of the population that has sent me this email has written it to me so i was really disappointed that the video was like three four minutes long and I had written down the instructions in the description box below yet so many of you failed to do it now next problem I had with you guys was one of the biggest problems you wrote the entire email in the subject instead of the body you did not write a hello or a thank you or regards or anything of that sort I did not even expect you to write it but you wrote the entire email in the subject of the body hi ma'am I'm so and so I'm from here this is my CV okay and the CV is attached in the body now you do need to write two three lines or you could have just written the details I've asked from you because that made my process of filling your candidacy or candidate form very easy I'm sorry for using a wrong word earlier but that would have made your referral form for me so much easier but now I had to open each of the PDFs that and some of you send password protected PDFs for no reason uh, your resume if you're sending to someone who is going to refer you is should be an open thing it should not be a password protected thing you're not sending me your bank account details you're sending me your resume it's very normal do not have passwords on it please now the next problem I faced from so many of you guys and this was honestly okay at the start but then it got to the hell extremely annoying and that is you started sending your personal problems I can feel sorry for you I can pray for you but on basis of the fact that your family is having a loan right now your family is in debt right now or you're not able to fee pay your student fees right now 
or your father has lost a job is not a company's problem. You are going to be hired purely on the basis that you are good with your communication skills, your technical knowledge is strong, you have a strong personality and you are willing to learn. Unfortunately, some of these people never wrote a line like that. Irrespective, even if you have written or not written, it does not matter because I'm not going to hire you. It's the company who is hiring you. So it does not matter what you write in the email, but stop writing your personal problems. If you think I have the capacity to give you a job, that is the first notion is wrong itself. I can refer you for that opportunity, but I cannot give you that opportunity. Stop writing your personal problems because that is honestly not going to get you a job ever. I'm really sorry to say that makes me a horrible person, but that is the truth. This problem I had with so many of you guys is that video is six months old. It is made for, it was made in June, July. I don't even remember. It was made during that time. It was made for that two, three months span. I could constantly refer you guys at that time. And now it is December 2018. The year has almost ended and I have made multiple videos after that stating that I have left Infosys. I have left India. How can I still refer you guys? I cannot ask my friends to refer 3000 of you. I did it on my own, but now that you guys are constantly sending me your emails, I would request you with all my heart and my soul, please stop. If you really want a job in Infosys, keep checking the company website. That is all you can do for right. There's a certain category of people that kept saying that we need a job, we need this job, we need this job, we need this job, we just need work. If you need work, if you need to step up for your family again, as I said before, you need to work anything that comes your way. Now, you cannot just wait that there is going to be an off-campus drive in Infosys or TCS or Deloitte or Musigma and then I'll go for that. No, you cannot do that. You need to be really quick about it. You need to take the first opportunity that comes your way and then start making your way towards your dream company. You cannot just say to any person, ma'am, this is my dream company. I just have to work over here. Please refer me. I will refer you even without that paragraph. I, I just have to put your details over there. The employer who is sitting on the other side, the interviewer who is sitting on the other side, this story, the sob story, the dream story, the goal story is not going to work. You have to be very clear why you want to work in a company like Infosys or any other company and how the company is going to benefit from you. You just have to say that much and all this stuff that so and so is ill, I need this job, I did not get a chance of this, blah, 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 it's not going to work out. Some of you ask me uh, advices on how to prepare for Infosys or any other company for the aptitude test or the resume. I'm going to come out with a video really soon, but yet I have tried to reply to all of your emails. So I hope that helps. On to the last problem and the biggest problem and the most disappointing problem I had was, I'm going to give you exact number that is four. Four of you out of a batch of 3000 wrote the most ridiculous thing ever I have seen in my life. Ma'am, I will give you money. You give me that job. If you fucking idiot think that Infosys needs 20,000 of your money, then you're the most stupidest person born alive. The company does not need your money. The company needs your knowledge. The company needs your dedication and your honesty. And if you think you can buy your first job like this, then shame on you. The, I, I have literally no words to say for such kind of mentality. I cannot even use a decent language with you because not only you have questioned the ethical standards of a company, but you have questioned mine too in that process. If you think you giving me money is going to get a job, then I'm really sorry, but with all due respect, I say fuck you. I'm really sorry for making this video. I had to vent out because this was going for six months and I today it finally broke me off because I got 11 emails stating, ma'am, please do this, please do this, please do this. And in the last video, I've clearly mentioned I have moved out of Infosys. I have left Infosys. That is my title of the video. Please read it. If you really need a job, please apply anywhere. Infosys is not the end of the world. It is a great company, but you can start your career with any company. If you have the skills and the honesty to do it and the dedication to do it, you will reach your goal very soon. So don't worry about such things. I hope you like this video and if you want more such content forward then do subscribe to my channel and i guess you have a good day today